Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, the Pinpoint weather team all over this playoff game. Pete just finishing up a, a blog about game weather on Saturday. We've, we've got it down to a science, so that's at WPRI.com. Snow is gone. Doppler radar looking a, a lot better after this fast moving system that came through. So heading out this evening, uh, no problems as far as additional precipitation. Just some of the neighborhood side streets are still snow covered, so a little slow traveling, but otherwise uh, should be fine as we take a look at uh, Time lapse from the, the campus at URI. Actually, Pete, see if we can get this in motion. There we go. And you can see the snow squalls that came through and then the rapid clearing at around two o'clock this afternoon after anywhere from one to uh, two and a half inches of snow. I mean, statewide it ranged in that uh, general range and all of this really falling in just a three hour period. So at times it was coming down at a pretty good clip. 24 right now at uh, Echo Lake in Pasco, a little layer of ice out there. The temperature coming in at 24 and a, a better finish to the day uh, with some sunshine. Downtown Providence right now, skies are clear. Temperatures dropping through the upper 20s, wind chill running in the teens. I do expect colder air to arrive tonight, watching uh, a couple of uh, cold fronts that will just reinforce some slightly colder air next 24 hours. Smithfield picked up a couple of inches of snow. They're at 27 right now, and most spots range from about 25 to 28 degrees. So cold, but not too extreme. But we talked about these cold fronts uh, through upstate New York, one and two back here. And as each one comes through, it's going to knock down the temperature over the next 24 hours. So Saturday, though, dry is a colder day. Take a look at your future cast starting off this evening at 7 o'clock. Clear skies and dry temperatures overnight heading down to the upper teens by around six o'clock in the morning. Plenty of sunshine during the day. It's really ineffective. Sun doesn't warm things up too much. It's in the low twenties by noontime. Still sunny. Uh, this is 430 around kickoff in Foxborough. It is clear, cold and dry. So, you know, decent football weather. There's no uh, nonsense with mixed precipitation or rain or snow and the clear weather continues though colder on Saturday evening and Saturday night. So for your Saturday morning, 7 a.m., it's only 16 degrees by 11 o'clock in the morning, sunshine and 23. And then during the afternoon, a cold day, deep blue skies and high temperatures, really not much higher than, say, 2025. Threat tracker now through Sunday in the uh, low category. If we could extend this one more day to Monday, we'd probably put Monday in the medium category and the reason why well first of all the weekend looking quiet on Monday mid 30s uh, keeping an eye on some well some mixed precipitation uh, rain sleet and snow there may be some small accumulations that's our next potential little sort of minor weather problem but overall the weekend not bad though Saturday is the colder day a little milder on Sunday with temperatures approaching the uh, lower 30s so a quiet weekend decent football weather WPRI.com you can read Pete's blog seven day uh, future cast so a couple of inches of snow is gone and that we're pretty quiet for the weekend. It was blowing sideways at one point today. Yeah, the winds was blowing 40, 45 miles per hour for a time. All right, Tony, mm -hmm. thanks. More coverage you can count on. Still ahead on Eyewitness News Live at 5. 